Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be making a bunch of custom acrylic colors again. We're not gonna do it with chalk this time, but with a bunch of other stuff that I have. I purchased a lot of different pigments and all kinds of stuff months ago when I was doing those chalk videos, but I don't like to do those kind of videos too close together. And so I finally figured it was probably time to work with some acrylic again and just make a bunch of stuff like that, have some fun with it, experiment. I'm gonna try to make like a hollow acrylic. We're gonna just do a bunch here. Before we get into it, I did just want to talk about something really quick. There seems to have been a mix up slash misprint with some of my poly gel kits with McCart. And if you received a misprint, then please email McCart or give them a call at the information right here and they will send you the proper one. The brush is still good to use that you have. It's just, you know, you should get the one with the correct name on it. And so if that is you, contact them and we will send you out a new one. And I'm so sorry for the mix up and sorry to any inconvenience this has caused. So before we get into just mixing stuff, I have all kinds of stuff to show you guys. So I don't know if you guys remember from my Etsy video, we unboxed a mystery box full of really cool glitters. Well, she contacted me and said that you guys sold out her swatch boxes or mystery boxes like three times after I put up that video. And so she wanted to send me a bunch of glitters that she thought I would like. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. I'm not gonna say no to any glitter. So I figured it would be fun to unbox this with you guys. And then I also got some other rhinestones I wanna show you guys. This first part is gonna sort of be like a, not swatch, but like unboxing before we do everything else, if that's okay. And oh my gosh, you guys see all that? There is so much glitter in here. I, I'm so dumb. Why are my eyes like wanting to water as if I'm like gonna cry over this much glitter? Uh, I'm gonna show you guys all of them because why not? If you wanna skip through seeing the glitter, you can skip to right here. Um, but let's just go through all this glitter because why not? Glitter is fun. Mint, Honey, Marina, Gingerbread House, Dreamcatcher, Coachella. I think we got this one in the mystery box. Kilani. Ooh, I think she included a bunch of Halloween ones. I am so excited for that. So this one is Jack, Transylvania, Trick or Treat, Grape Soda, Nerida? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Polar Express, beautiful. I love that. Look at the little penguins. How cute is that? Tangerine. 284, Corpse Bride. Sometimes the little glitters can like overshadow the big glitters, but look, this has little bones in it. Trippy, Christmas Pudding, two. Blueberry Pie, Sephiria, Fairy Lights, Coralina, Coralina, Casper. Oh, I really like this one. It's like simple, but really unique. Arabella, and if you guys are like, why are you showing us all of these? It's also because one, it's fun, and two, because we are gonna use these glitters in our acrylic mixes today. And so I just wanna, you know, see my options, go through them. Salem, 15, 262, Festive Fun, 258, 261, 260, 257, 259, Lucifer, 286, Gavriel, 145, 107, these have dolphins and some sea turtles. This sort of glitter is really great if you are someone that likes to actually like place each individual glitter. I, a lot of the time, just spread it all over, but these ones are really great to actually make like a design with the glitter. 18, 70, watermelon, Joker, 3, 62, 100, 283, pre-drink. And this one's really unique. The glitter almost looks like, I wanna show you guys really close up, like textured. Like how cool is that? Candy Cane, North Pole, Stocking Filler, Spell on You, and this one's so cool, it has lightning bolts. Witches Brew, 31, Tinsel, 30, Snowman, Jack Frost, Snow Globe, 71, Fizz Whiz, 29, 9, 19, Bimto, Flower Child, Harley Quinn, 285, Passion Fruit, Cotton Candy, 101, 17, 133, Perfect for Valentine's Day. 86, 27, 73, 16, Marshmallow, 68, Sherbert Lemon, Apple Sour, Jolly Rancher, Rudolph, Nerds. Okay, I swear, we're like over halfway done. Just Peachy, 94, 270, 249, 23. I really like this one, although I feel like you'll probably need like some movement to see how pretty it is. It's like a really dark hollow. Fire, 169, 255. Oh, and I love, look at those flowers in there. That's so pretty. I've never seen those ones before. 280, 170, 277, 278. 276, but look at, they have like little candy pieces in there. So cool. 14, 7, 8. Absolutely love this one. 12, 108, 22, 130, 154. Is that a one or a seven? I don't know. 
panic. I was looking forward to seeing one. I don't know if that's one or seven. We'll take the verdict after. 175, 14, 149, 63. Just kidding, we found number one. That one must be number seven. 253, 246, 177, 176, 147, air, 146, 244, 267, 155, 22. Really like this one, like, whoa. Pretty. 10, 275, metamorphosis, 151, 263. Absolutely love this one, so bright. Dream on, 273, 272. Wait, this one's one, two. One. <laughs> 23. The hearts in this one are really unique. They're almost, they're not like completely even. Really pretty. 66. 11. 264. What are those in there? Are those big clouds? I think they're like bigger clouds. Really cool. Palm of Violets. 20. 281. Bobby Dazzler. 268. 8. 10. 248. 11. 64. Water. This one's so unique too. Like look at those butterflies and the raindrops. So cool. 3, Flying Saucer, 178, 251, 172, 266, love these stars, 279, 16, 157, 171, 271, 4, 179, Earth, 12, 250, 156, and we only have one more, are you ready? And Hocus Pocus, that is all of it. <laughs> so thank you to her, I hope you guys like seeing all these swatches. I love looking through this. This is like, makes me so happy. I will of course leave her link below. All right, another thing that we have to put together, I know you guys might hate this, but I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if you guys like me doing all of this like in the video. I think it's really satisfying to look at and to just watch like seeing like each glitter or like each rhinestone. But I got these rhinestones, um, blingy thingy, bring it blingy thing on Etsy. I saw this and I just love that they were like solid colored, but still a B. And I already used some of these, but these ones I have to show you guys are, these are some of the prettiest rhinestones I've ever seen. Like these ones are beautiful. Like look at how, like they're like glass and there's no like, you know, some of them obviously have like um, shiny on the back, but these ones are so so, so pretty. Like I need to order these in like every size, like literally living for these ones. But um, I need to put them all in a container. So I figured we'd do that together because it's fun, right? I'm saying it is. We'll put these ones in first. Like, I don't know, just aren't they so pretty? I, I love them. And I'm not putting them in any particular order, just kind of putting them in, it's fine. Also, just while we're on the topic of rhinestones, I'm so glad that so many of you agreed about the, apparently I'm saying Svorsky wrong. There's an S in it, give me a break, all right? But I'm so glad that a lot of you agree that like, you know, the expensive rhinestones aren't necessary. Like, yeah, they might look like slightly better, but I mean, like I can buy like three small packs of those for all of this for the price. And I prefer all this. <laughs> Plus they're not even, I don't think even gonna be selling like to the public anymore. I've seen a lot of things about them only gonna be selling like to designers or something like that. I'm not sure. So I don't even know if you'll be able to even get them anymore. Alrighty, and now we have all of those. Look how beautiful. I mean, like I said, I wasn't gonna put them in any certain order, but I feel like the order that I did put them in makes sense. But yeah, these ones, my absolute favorite. I'll have to ask her what like these ones are called exactly, cause bomb. So yeah, now we should probably get into actually mixing some acrylic. Okay, let me show you what we're gonna be working with. So this is my box of stuff that I've been collecting to make custom acrylics. So in here, I have a box with like every mica powder like ever. So we have every color for that. Then I got some like glitter slash pigments. I got this Art and Glow powder, but we're actually going to be testing the one from Stuart Simple the like one where it says like this is the glowiest glow and it's like not for being boy do you guys remember that from that video you should this one was like super 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 glowy so we're definitely gonna have to make one with this one some more glitter 
And then look at this. So now that resin art is like a lot more popular nowadays, a lot of like the little decorations that people use for nails and that package in like these little itty bitty containers are now being sold in like these giant ones. Like look at all of this gold foil. And this was $4.99 at like an arts and crafts store. And I purchased like a tiny, tiny, tiny jar for like $10. So yeah, definitely go to your local craft store and take a look. Some even more pigment. Ooh, and then I got some, can't really see them in here, but they are color changing pigments. So like with temperature, they'll change color. And I got some like even more, like really, really bright colored glow powder. I actually decided to switch up the jars. So you guys know I was using those like glass jars last time and those ones are okay but I felt like they leaked really easily. So these ones are like really really tight and these ones are plastic and a little bit smaller since I am going to be making like smaller quantities. So yeah we're gonna try these ones instead and plus the top is blue and you know how much we love blue here and pink but so yeah that's everything. Uh, let's finally get into actually doing this. Okay, so let's get started. So first we're just going to use up this Model 1's clear acrylic. I assume it's clear anyway. Yeah, I think it's clear, not white. So I'm just going to do like a teaspoon or two of this. Maybe like two teaspoons. We don't want to make like a ton, but enough to actually like make it look good. And then the first pigment we're going to try is rainbow blue. I believe when I bought this, it was supposed to be hollow, although it just kind of looks iridescent. I was hoping we could just make like a hollow acrylic. Okay, and then we'll just get like, I don't know the ratios. Honestly, we're just winging it that much. That seems good. And then let's just stir this up. Okay, I have thoroughly mixed it, so let's see. Hold on, you guys. I think I need to switch to a different lens because you guys can just not see enough of what's going on. Give me one second. Okay, so hopefully this should be better. So I'm gonna be using my Kiera Sky monomer, and then I'm just going to be using my McCart brush that is a little disformed because it was laying not properly, and it's a little uh, curved at the moment, but you know, we'll... Okay, let's see. I mean, it looks kind of sparkly, but it's not exactly what I was hoping for. Definitely not hollow. I think we should tweak this one a little bit by one, adding more acrylic. And then let's add this water glitter with the raindrop in it. I love this one. Alrighty, so if it seems like it's a new day, um, it is. One of my cables decided to just die yesterday right as I started filming. So uh, sorry if there's like, that was weird. It started dying like every two seconds. And so I literally could not film anything. Lots of technical difficulties today, but we're trying. So once again, I'm just going to use this water one from, oops, that's not what I meant to do. It's fine. I didn't realize it was open already. And I'm not gonna use a ton. We don't need like a ton of it. Then we're gonna stir, stir, stir. And then of course we have to name it. All right, I actually really think I like these jars more. Like they close so much tighter than the other ones. Okay, so here is our first one. Exciting. I love doing these. You guys know how much I love just like mixing all kinds of stuff. So let's move on. New container. And I'm just gonna let you guys know, I do not know how many of these we're gonna make today. I could use the entire box of jars. I probably will go until I almost run out of like plain acrylic. Perfect. And then I want to use this so bad, the Lit Glow Powder. This stuff like almost glows even in light, as long as it's not like sunlight, but like it is so bright. Okay, there's that. I don't know how much of this to put in. I think like that. I was watching over my footage that I filmed yesterday with how much um, of that blue pigment I put in there. I was watching it over with my husband. He was like, that seems like a lot. And I was like, yeah, it probably was. So we'll start less. I want to put some sort of neon glitter in this because I feel like that will just make 
the glow, you know, like UV, whatever. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna go with this one. I absolutely love this one. I feel like a lot of these glitters are neon while there's still some like iridescent ones. So let's put some of that in there. Oh, and there's dolphins in this one too. How fun. We're not gonna put a ton. Like we don't want it like completely packed with glitter. We still wanna be able to see the glow. I'm also gonna put some of these ones in here cause I don't know, I just like them. Stir, 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 stir. So the reason I'm not using my e-file to sort of mix these around is because I don't wanna scratch any of these glitters since they're like so big. I think these caps are also tight enough that I can just shake it, like put it on, they're really tight and then just like, which you definitely could not do with the other ones that I use. I'm so glad that I switched up containers. Much better, no leakage or anything like that. I don't know if we want to put any pigment in this one. I think maybe let's just put a tiny bit of pink, like just enough that it doesn't have that like green tint to it, you know? Like I don't like when glow in the dark stuff is like that mucusy color that much. I think should be good, super pretty. Once again, let's just shake it up to stir it. And then for this one, we're going to take where, I don't know how I managed to lose literally everything when it's right in front of me. Is anyone else like that? Like, I don't know why I'm like that. Okay, I'm gonna do half-ish clear. And then I'm also gonna do white so that we can sort of get a milky effect. I'm not sure if you can even put gold flakes in acrylic. Like, I don't see why not. I hate working with the gold foil sometimes because it literally just sticks to like everything and itself. I want this one to almost look like a marble, but like right out of the jar without like having to do a bunch of different stuff. Okay, this was my fault. And then that means we need some sort of, I think like gray or black glitter, but like small ones. Okay, I think I'm gonna choose this hollow one. I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit in there, like just a little bit. Just enough to have some like different colors. I'm gonna shake it up because I feel like if I stir it, the gold foil is gonna stick to my stirring stick. Okay, the gold foil does look like it's breaking up a bit, which is good. My favorite part is just like snipping that off right there. So satisfying to me. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so an experiment I've really wanted to do is if you can just dump like the hollow powder, not hollow glitter, but hollow powder in an acrylic and sort of put it on like that. Like I don't see why not. Maybe the powder might like dissolve or something, but let's, I think that's some science we need to figure out right now. So I'm just going to dump the rest of this clear in here. And then I'm going to use some long hair, pretty nails clear. I don't think she has this in stock right now and hasn't for a while, but I mean, she just had a baby. Let's not bug her about it. In the name of science, we're gonna sacrifice a whole thing of hollow powder from my kit. But do you see what I mean? Like, it's just so fine. Like, I don't know why we couldn't do that. I guess we'll find out. Do you think it needs the entire thing? I think it does. Alrighty, let's shake this up. Ooh, the entire jar is looking hollow now. Ooh, I might be onto something. Let's leave this one as is right now and just see how it works before we add any more glitter or anything like that. I don't want to ruin it and I just wanna see how it works. So we'll leave that right now, but we'll still name it really quick. Okay, and then with this one, we're going to start out with some white. I wanna make like a solid color one with some of the pigments. I have like a bright orangey pinkish in my head or a bright green blue. There's literally so many options though. Like this isn't even all of them. There we go, that's all of them. <laughs> I love the names on these ones though. Like corn, black, pear. Ooh, I love this one. I love this shade. Okay, let's pull up pear and maybe also a yellow. We have lemon, very original. Ooh, this cherry one do be pretty though. We'll pull that out that one as well. I don't know why I'm acting like I can't make like literally a ton of these. So I'm just gonna pull out all the colors that like catch my eye. I thought there was one in here that was like a rose. Oh, it is, it's like, it's like a rose gold. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. 
Yeah, you can see it. This one's Calla? Never heard of that. I assume it's a flower. And then I think we should pull out like purple and rosemary and lavender and lilac. I don't know which one of these I like better. I think I like those ones. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Look at this blue. Blue rose. Oh, man. I'm going to just pick out a couple. Also me. <laughs> let's do pear. And then let's do some lemon. You guys know I love my pastels, but I'm like sort of getting back into neons a bit right now. Like, I don't know what it is. I just love bright colors right now. And then I'm actually going to add some, this one's magical blue. And then this is just like a iridescent white that has like a shift of blue. Just a little bit. Perfect. And of course, everything always looks so much more dull with acrylic before you actually like use it. Like once it activates with the monomer, it just looks so much brighter because any acrylic will always have that like white cast when it's dry. Okay, so we're gonna leave that one as is. Like not everything has to have glitter. I know, like who am I? But I just also wanna see like if we need to add anything after we like test these. I know I'm doing this a little bit differently than I usually do with how I do these. Usually I test them like while I'm doing them but that usually makes a huge mess for me. And so I'm just making all of these and then I'm gonna swatch them all at the same time and tweak them. Then I wanna start with this glitter. This is like a gold hollow glitter. So pretty. Ooh, she be leaking. That's okay. I love it, so pretty. I wanna add some pigment too. Let's do like a bronzy color. I'm not usually for bronze, but ooh, or gold, ooh. I don't know. No, 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 no. No to all of those. A solid contender. Another solid contender. Ooh, magical gold and pearl. Okay, we'll mix these three. Okay, so let's put some pearl. This is the shade. It's just like a shimmery pink. And some maple. This is just like a deep bronzy gold. Then we're gonna use magical gold. And again, this is just like a iridescent white with the shift of gold. Okay, and then I, we're gonna do mostly clear on this. And then I think we should do just like a tiny bit of white. And one scoop of white. I just have a feeling this one's gonna be really pretty. I can't wait to see it. Okay, so we've made six so far, but I am dying to try some of these color changing ones, the heat activated ones. Let's see. We have a black to pink, and right now it is black because it is definitely cold in this room. And then we have a red to yellow. And then last but not least, a green to yellow. Honestly, I think the black to pink is the coolest. So let's use that. I probably should just mix like the pigment and the acrylic together and then we can see if we wanna add anything after. Ideally, I would like to add glitter to this. Ooh, it's chunky. Ooh, it's really soft though. I don't know how much to add. That seems like a lot. Let's see it change color. So really the best way to do these like when you're doing your nails and stuff is to just add light because usually that adds some heat. So let's see if we can get this to change color right here. Might need to leave it for a second. I mean like apparently it says it's 59 degrees in this room so it'd be cold <laughs> my like studio office where i film it used to be a garage but when whoever flipped this house redid it they turned the garage into a room and it's a big room don't get me wrong but it definitely stays really cold in here any change nope okay well, it looks like this one's gonna have to be one where we like dip it in water <laughs> to see, cause that is not happening. And I'm just gonna fill this one with white. I think clear might make it look a little clumpy, if that makes sense. Like I feel like with clear, it might look weird. Okay, and then for these last couple, I think what I actually wanna do is add every single one of these pigments and then also both of the glow in the dark pigments. And we'll just see where that goes. So we will once again start off with the black, but we're just going to use like, like that much of each one. If not even a little bit less, because we're going to be putting a bunch of different ones in there. Then we'll use some of the lit powder, some of the green to yellow. I do have a feeling that this is going to be like a murky color because we are mixing in a red and green and those are um, opposites as well as a lot of green <laughs> and black. So yeah, I think it's going to be an ugly color, but it'll be our ugly color. This is a really bright red though, I like this red. And then I have this like really neon glow pigment. Ooh, look at how bright that is. 
And then on the back of this, it does say it can be mixed with any clear medium. So we are going to use the clear acrylic for this one. Ah uh, yes, as we suspected, a brown. <laughs> I mean, it's not an ugly brown though. It's more of like a taupe color, which not bad, but I would be interested to see what color this will change to since we mixed all of the colors. This one's gonna be our wild card. Okay, and then for our last one, we're going to just do a bunch of different glitters because this is our ninth one, I believe, and gotta stop at some point. <laughs> Y'all always make fun of me when I'm like, okay, this is the last one, and then I do more. So I'm gonna try to just stick to this last one unless I have like, I don't know, a crazy idea. And then also this one, I love the flowers in this and the hearts. I wanna do a good mix of like both opaque and sort of see-through glitters. That way you can just see as much sparkle as humanly possible. We should probably just put some of this fine glitter in there as well. This one has butterflies and unicorns. Ooh, this one's really pretty as well. Do we need some dragonflies in here? I think yes. These ones are thick. Oh my gosh. I feel like the more I'm looking through these, the cooler they get. Look, that's like a spider. Am I terrified of spiders? Absolutely, but I think this would be such a cool design. Like, look at that. Oh, I'm sad we didn't use any of these Halloween glitters. Maybe I'll have to make like just one more so we can make a Halloween one. So this is our glitter mix. It is so pretty. And we will just be mixing this with clear that way all of the glitter can shine on its own. All right, here we go. We have our nine acrylics. So which one are you most excited to see swatched? I think I am most excited for exponential or serotonin <laughs> and wild card. Cause like, I wanna see what color this one turns into. So let's get on swatching these ones. I am super excited. Hi, if you've made it to this point in the video, this is my surprise giveaway. So I have 10 poly gel kits that I'm going to be giving away. They range from obviously like the pink, blue, purple, green, and other poly gel kits from McCart, including the new mermaid one. So I've tried to make this as fair and easy as possible. So to enter, all you have to do is go to the link in my description and fill that out and you will be entered. You can also enter daily for an extra entry and there will be 10 winners. It will go on for about a week. You can be anywhere in the world as long as you're like over 13. Um, and yeah, this is just to say thank you guys for all the support and everything like that. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys like it. Okay, so I'm gonna more or less try to do it in order of the way we did it. So I think it's blue daba D <laughs> is first. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, it's been a while since I've done acrylic. Like a while. Oof. And I am rusty. You guys were telling me that I needed to do them. The swatches on top to like really show it. The only reason I was doing them underneath last time was because I thought it would look nice. Like it'd be really easy to do have everything with a nice smooth top, you know, like shown underneath. But I think the monomer sort of ate through the plastic, which could totally happen sometimes. And you should be a little bit careful if you are using like these plastic containers with acrylic. Cause like if the monomer does touch it, you do have a chance of like gunking up your brush and acrylic and stuff like that. And here is blue Daba D. <laughs> Hold on, I think we need to change the lens. <laughs> okay, so now you can really see the glitter a lot better. Next up is seashell. Here's how it looks on the inside. Definitely looks like sand with some shells in it. Colorful ones, but shells nonetheless. So that pigment definitely even did turn a little bit of my monomer blue, but that's fine. Let's see how this comes out. I don't even remember, honestly, what we put in this one. Did we put any pigment? Oh, you know what we did? This one's glow in the dark one. That's why it's sort of clear, but not clear. That makes sense now. Don't worry, I will 100% show you guys like the glow and color changing and stuff like that at the end. Why are there so many hairs? I guess that's what happens when you have four dogs, huh? If you use anything besides like cosmetic grade glitter for nails, I guess you could do gel nails, but 
a lot of the time, like if you go and get craft glitter, the color will like stream off of it. It sucks. So here is seashell. This one glows in the dark, which we will have to see, but I think it looks really nice actually. Like it's like a really, 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 really pale nude shade and you can still see the glitter through it. I really like it. I'm just setting these aside for right now because it is cold in this room. I know it's gonna take a bit for the acrylic to dry. That can happen sometimes if your monomer is cold. It just like will not fully cure for a while. It takes a while. I can't take it anymore. I have to see this one. This is our hollow powder one. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so it just looks like a bunch of hollow. I mean, it just does look like the powder itself. So let's see. I'm really excited for this one. Really, really, really excited. Okay, let's see. Ooh, you know what? I might be onto something. Okay, so here is Exponential. Here's with like my camera flash. Hopefully it's doing something. I will have to make sure to show you these in the sunlight because I feel like that's where you can just see everything best. But it is cold and raining right now, so that'll have to wait for another day. But I will absolutely just, you know, insert those clips. <laughs> Now we have Unknown. I believe this is the one that we mix all of the glow and all of the color changing ones together and we got this nice, um, is that? I don't even remember. Why am I so terrible at this? I literally did this yesterday. This one is interesting looking. Honestly, this one does not look that special, but it probably changes color, which automatically makes it cool. So yeah, here's this one. Again, another gray. I know you guys are probably like, let's get to the glitter ones. I think that's what I'm doing mentally. I'm just keeping all the best for last. Okay, next up is serotonin. Fun. This is our insane glitter mashup acrylic. And it definitely looks like that, but it seems like I did a good ratio. If you look at acrylics with like a lot of glitter sometimes, you know, it's like, would you like some acrylic with that glitter? But this one looks like it's a good mix. So I hope it translates. Here we go with our glitter acrylic. This is high key, so pretty already but I may have spoke too soon. I think this might be a, would you like some acrylic with your glitter acrylic? <laughs> so if you have glitter acrylic like this, I would definitely recommend doing you know, a layer until you like it, but doing a thinner layer and then capping it with clear because if you start to file into these, it's probably not gonna look great. They're probably all more or less like gray on the inside after they have whatever coating and they usually don't look the best. I don't know if that it's, all of them, but sometimes that definitely can happen to me. I'll just like get carried away and do the entire nail with this. And then when I file it, it definitely looks like I filed into glitter and we want the glitter looking whole. Honestly, 10 out of 10, love this one. Favorite so far, of course. <laughs> And next, I'm actually really curious about this one because we mixed a bunch of different golds and that really, really pretty hollow gold glitter. So this one I think will be really, really pretty. Ooh, this one is really pretty. Very like classic nude color, but very, very, very sparkly at the same time. Here it is close up. Usually you guys know like I wouldn't steer towards a nude, but this one's really pretty. Okay, and this one is new chapter. So this one's pretty straightforward. It's pretty, it's a little streaky though. Obviously you can see those little bits in the middle. Now we have no time and this is our one with gold foil in it. So let's see if that actually works. It said no. Oh, um. Okay, so what looks like it needs to happen is we need to drill <laughs> and break up these gold pieces. So let me get my file, try to break up some of this gold foil. I mean, I could have also just put way too much in. I must have put, did I put other glitter in there? I think the other glitter might have ruined it. Okay, so noted for this one, at least I don't like the extra glitter that I added. It just looks like it's dirty. I probably should grind up the foil a lot more than I did and it should work fine. Like I thought it wasn't gonna work at all, but it totally does. You just need to make sure that your foil is in way smaller pieces than mine was. Okay, last but not least, wild card. Now this is the one, I was mistaken earlier. This is the one that we mixed all the glow and temperature powders in. So this one probably will look the same color wise until we um, go in the dark or we go in different temperatures. <laughs> Definitely brown. 
It's not an ugly brown though. I'm honestly dying to know what color it changes to when it gets warm. Okay, so now it's time to take off these nails and so I can do a new set with them. So let me go do that really quick. Okay, so I had someone tag me in this video on TikTok. This person is putting on full cover tips with acrylic and I don't know why no one's ever thought of that. I don't know if people don't do that because the acrylic's really hard and usually with like soft gel nails, they're a little bit more flexible. I don't know, so we're gonna try that today. I feel like I'm knocking out tons of stuff in this video. We're gonna try a TikTok, mixing acrylic, all kinds of stuff. These are my new favorite. I have them on this hand right here. These are the Extreme Square Tips from Enail Couture. I absolutely love these. These are definitely for people with more flat nail beds, which mine are super flat. And so, yeah, I really like these and that's what we're gonna use today. And these ones are also really nice because the cuticle is much more rounded on these. On a lot of full cover tips, the cuticle is always almost kind of square and I usually have to file the sides, but on these ones, they fit my nails perfectly. Like I've never had a full cover tip like fit my nails so good. So yeah, really love these ones. Definitely recommend if you have flat nail beds and you know, I think square is coming back. Obviously not like flared duck nails square, but like tapered square. That's gonna be the next big nail shape. Okay, so I have my nail tips now. So first I'm just going to put some dehydrator on my actual nails. I probably still have a little bit of leftover gel on my nails, but I'm not really super worried about that. I don't feel the need to file down to my natural nail every single time. Like if this gel is like stuck on there, then honestly, I'm not trying to evict it. I did also rough up the surface of either my nail or the gel and push back my cuticles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the Gel X Acid Free Tip Primer over the entire thing. And if you don't have this, that's totally fine. You can just etch the inside of the tip, but honestly, this is just faster and easier for me. So that's what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> I mean, like, again, you can totally etch it. Some people still prefer to etch it. I just think, it's like so quick. And I'm assuming this will still work with the acrylic. So I feel like a little nervous because this is like a, you gotta do this quick. Like, and you can't really mess up because if the acrylic hardens, like you're done. So I'm just going to do this one at a time and I'm going to put some of the Apre, just regular primer on my nail. I prefer always to do that with acrylic. I have not done acrylic in so long. So it feels so weird, like not having to have my lamp out, like ready to cure it. And let's start off with seashell. So in the video, she just put the acrylic on her nail and not on the tip. So what I figure is I can just put it on my nail and I can always go in underneath afterwards if I need to. I'm going to put this right here. That way I will not get out of frame. If my hand's not on this, I'm out of frame. Honestly, kind of nervous. Ooh, ooh, this might be a little too much. I'm gonna scrap a little bit off, but okay. Kind of like that. Eee. Do this quick. Then I have my tip and I'm gonna sort of like tuck it in there and then go forward. That way it squishes up. That way, ooh. Okay, so it's spilling out the sides a bit, but I mean, that can just happen if you just have too much product in general. There's a little air bubble there. there. Can we try to get rid of that? Okay, so I'm just holding it here for a little bit. Again, it's cold in this room and it takes a little bit for the monomer to do its thing. I think, oh, nope, I can't stop holding it. Okay, I'm gonna just hold it for a while. If I let go, then there's air bubbles. Is this straight? I hope so. Alrighty, so there's that. It's still drying, I believe. So I'm just going to give it a couple minutes and so we can actually like move it. I don't wanna touch it. I'm really scared to touch it. And then I'll just fill in the back, sort of like um, Femi Beauty's, not Lazy Girl Method anymore. She changed it to Femi. The Femi method, Femi Beauty method, where she does this with 
poly gel and so we're just going to do like that and just fill in the back but with acrylic okay so let's just fill in the back now hoping to get a couple more pieces of glitter because there's just not much in here and that's what i wanted out of this i think this one glows though so there's an upside to everything Okay, and here's the nail nail. Actually, it does not look bad. I mean, I think it actually looks pretty good. So this is it with it all filled in and stuff like now. It is dry now. Here's what the underside looks like. So it's definitely not like all clumpy or anything. It's still a little wet, <laughs> but it does look fine. I'm happy with this method so far. I mean, like I love all of my acrylic colors and I just feel like the reason people don't do acrylic as much is just because like sculpting, it really takes time and practice to learn, which I definitely want to continue learning how to do acrylic but you know things like poly gel and full cover tips are so much faster but yeah here's this one and but it'll be nice like now i could actually use some of my acrylics more often okay so once again i'm just going to do the tip primer there is going to be a small gap of time between when i'm filming this now and when i'm uploading it so if they do like pop off or i don't know like crack or do not last i will let you know what Okay. If you're doing acrylic, it's super important that you have a primer. Sometimes you can totally get away with not having a primer for like poly gel or gel nails or whatever, but I feel like if you are doing acrylic, having a primer is pretty necessary. Okay, I keep forgetting. I keep wanting to put the product on here, but it's not. We put the product on our finger and then smush that on. Which one was this? Uh, I hope it was this one. So for this one, we're going to do the I'm Blue Dabba D. I feel like that should be enough. I hope it is. It's so hard to gauge with like when you do a new method like this. It definitely is still spilling out a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna try to hold it like that. Okay, now I'm just going to fill in the back. This one seemed like it definitely had a little bit of a harder time sticking to my natural nail. I don't know if that's just like the method or if it is the fact that this has a bunch of pigment in it. That, you know, could could be a lot of reasons. And there's that one. We will at the end like file down a bit. Okay, so now let's move on to another finger. Prep, 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 prep. And then this prep, there we go. And then we're gonna use my favorite one. You guys already know which one's my favorite one. We're gonna use the glitter one. We got this, right? We got this. Okay, so that seems good. I think that big chunk of glitter is like preventing it from like going down completely. So I need to get a different bead. Okay, that was better for sure. It was the big chunk of glitter. That thing was thick. It's like at least like a millimeter thick. And so it probably wasn't that good of an idea putting in here, but it probably would work just fine for like regular encapsulation. Just not, <laughs> not when you decide to put full cover tips on with acrylic. Okay, it's probably dry enough now that we can add to the underside. Oh, we got a dragonfly. Let's see if we can actually get it. Look at dragonfly. I'm just gonna sit here and hold down this dragonfly and hope we can get it to stick. Okay, let's just pop these last two on really quickly. I don't wanna keep you here forever. This video is already a million years long. I figure we should use the hollow ones. That way we can really get a true telling on how it's going to be. I feel like that one's very important. Like already hollow acrylic, like sign me up, honestly. A little messy right now, okay. But it's honestly super important to like hold it in the same place for a while because otherwise it will not stick well. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna hold this for like five minutes. <laughs> Alrighty, and let's fill her in. And here that one is. That's probably way too much. Okay, all of these are on now. I'm gonna give them a couple minutes to dry and then we will file the edges and some of the cuticle parts that are a little thick. Okay, you guys, and now um, I'm gonna be trying out the Kira Sky Beyond Pro Nail Drill. They sent me this and I feel so weird with it. I feel so professional. It's so fancy. I don't even know what to do with myself. Like, look at the bit. It has a diamond on top of it. Like what? Oh my gosh. It is so crazy. I'm gonna try this out though. So I'm excited about that. I'm really, really excited. I'm also kind of nervous because this is like so nice. I don't know. I don't feel like I deserve to have something nice. <laughs> I will leave the sound in for a moment though. That way you guys can hear how loud it is. Because I heard one of the things with it is that it is super quiet. So that's on 13. This is on the highest setting. 
So I'm just going to do around the cuticle. Okay, it do be pretty quiet, honestly. Okay, so there's that. Um, this thing is like so powerful. I don't know if it's the bit that's so crazy or if it's the drill. I'm going to test the drill out for a while before I give you guys my final opinion on it because I don't take it lightly recommending something that expensive. Next, I'm just gonna go in with my hand file and clean up the edges. Okay, here we go. Here's all this. I think the thumb is actually my favorite, which is weird. I hope I actually did the colors that you guys wanted to see because I feel like every time I do this, you guys are like, no, you didn't do the one I liked. So I'm hoping that I got everyone's favorites. I mean, there was nine of them and I did five. So hopefully we're good. Next, I'm just going to buff out the tops. All right, and here they are so far, all shaped, buffed. So let's do some designs. Okay, so let's be real. These nails like do not go together. So I'm just going to use these little stickers and put them all over and hope that it makes it a little bit cohesive. I really wanted to show you guys as many of the colors as possible, which is why I didn't do like a coordinated set. Alrighty, and then I'm going to use the Cure Sky Jelly Tips top coat. I don't know if this is their same like standard top coat, but what I do know is that it is like super, super shiny. And I find myself gravitating towards it nowadays just because it is like so shiny. Then I'm just using my little mini lamp from McCart from <coughs> my kit. <laughs> Okay, while we put the top coat in, I'm going to talk about how I like this method at least. I think it could be really, really useful for those of you that prefer the hardness of acrylic but want the ease of full cover tips. Because I know sometimes with full cover tips, like especially if you just put on like a top coat or like a layer of gel polish or two, sometimes they can still be really flimsy depending on what you do. This could also be a good way, like if you want to love, say, like full cover tips, but you just don't you really prefer acrylic maybe try this or if you maybe switch to full covered tips and you have a ton of acrylic laying around this might also be a good way to use it up and then don't tell me these rhinestones wouldn't go perfect with these nails i think what i'm just going to do is put like one single one that way it's just a little extra sparkle you know like we don't need a lot so i'm just like dying to use these and i think i'm just going to match them to the color of the nail i'm just going to put like a teeny tiny drop of glue We'll do these dark blue ones for this dark blue one. And then for this one, I think we should go with a light pink clear one for sure. Cause it's just like, there's no gray ones here. So clear on that. And then this one deserves a lime green one. All right, so now it's time to go look at these in better light, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry I was gone for a little bit, you know, just going through it sometimes. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys are all doing okay, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was like a mix of a lot of things. Tell me which acrylic that I made was your favorite, and tell me if I didn't use the one that was your favorite. And if I didn't, that's okay. In that case, my bad. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye! Amazon and the Canadian McCarts site as well as we shifted some inventory i just wanted to update you guys on the stock of my poly gel kit with mccart so we've sold out on mccart.com but there is still some left on amazon canadian Am to europe so now there is some kits on amazon uk so we didn't like make more kits for it we just transferred some of the stock we had so it's not like a restock we didn't make anymore um but yeah so i will leave the links to where it's still available down below but everywhere else it's sold up
却 e 